I just found an old project called Open Agents and it's quite amazing. It's an open source platform for language agents in the wild, meaning that the framework enables you to deploy autonomous AI agents in the wild, whether that's through your application or utilizing the agents as tools or plugins. You can even have it so that it's deployed to control your operating system. Now the Open Agents are aiming to utilize a range of tools to enhance their capabilities which serves as a user-centric intelligent agent. Currently, you have the ability to deploy three types of agents, focusing on different application scenarios. Firstly, we have the data agent, which is supporting code generation plus data tools. Secondly, you have the plugin agent, which is where you can unleash the power of real-world applications through a plugin system. And lastly, we have the web agent, where you can navigate the internet and power browsing capabilities. Just take a look at what you can do at the capabilities of the data agent that is being deployed by open agents. Welcome to the Xlang data agent demo tutorial. Today we'll explore how this powerful AI assistant can assist you with various data related tasks. Let's jump right in. Now if I ask for some stock price data sets, the data agent will utilize the Kaggle search tool to find relevant data sets for our analysis. With the available stock price data sets, we can choose one to download and apply it to the current chat. The data agent will now give some basic information about the file and give some insights about what I can do with the data. Now I want to visualize the open and closing prices since 2022. The agent will leverage the capabilities of the eCharts library to create an interactive line plot for me. I can also ask the agent to do some model training like an ARIMA model specifically on the closing prices. You can see that the agent fails several times, but in the end it gets the fitted model and draws a plot to reflect the regression results. Furthermore, I can also continue the previous turn and ask for an overall summary about the trained model. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, wasn't that amazing? This is the capability of open agents, and there's so much more to this. This is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video as I showcase some more use cases, as well as showcasing how you can get started. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned, and let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Open Agents, which is quite an old project, but it's fairly new, you can say, because it was released around this year ago or approximately six months ago. Now, this is an innovative new framework, and it's quite comprehensive for deploying and crafting autonomous AI agents. You can deploy them in the wild, and it basically provides the infrastructure as well as the tools necessary to host and utilize these agents in various real world scenarios you can see right over here that they have three distinct agent types you have the data agent and this is utilized for facilitating data analysis using different programming languages as well as related tools they specify with python and sql at the current moment in this sentence but you can see that if you are to go through the docs you can implement other programming languages to utilize the data agents with now secondly you have plugins and this is where this is offering a diverse range of 200 daily tools for various tasks. And then lastly, you have the web agent, which is empowering autonomous web browsing capabilities. Now, we already seen what the data agent is capable of doing, but we're going to now take a look at what the plugins are going to be able to do, as well as the web agents. Now, they also emphasize that open agents can analyze data, call plugins, control your browser as ChatGPT Plus, but with open code for easy deployment, full stack, chat, web, UI agent methods and so much more there's also ability to have it controlling different sorts of operating systems which is something that you can take a look at throughout the research paper which goes a little bit more in depth on this so i'll leave a link to as all these links that i use in today's video in the description below 
But now let's take a look at the use case of the plugin agent. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Introducing the plugins agent. Let's dive into how this advanced AI assistant can assist you in various daily tasks. I'm selecting Klarna, Currency Converter, Get Your Guide, and Weather Wizard. It's worth noting that the plugin selection can be automated using the auto feature. I have asked about attractions in Toronto. The plugin agent taps into the Get Your Guide plugin and presents recommendations in a visually appealing format, complete with images. After learning about Toronto's attractions, it's only natural for me to consider my budget and check the currency exchange rate. With the plugins agent, this information is just a question away. Now I'm curious about the weather. A simple query is made and the agent prompts for more details. It's intuitive understanding the necessary information to interact with its plugins. Once I provide my travel dates, the plugins agent employs the weather wizard plugin to fetch the weather forecast. The agent isn't just about fetching data. It can also offer recommendations based on the information it receives, like suggesting clothing based on weather. From the suggestions, if I find items of interest, I can inquire further. The plugins agent presents product details in neat little cards, allowing me to delve deeper or even make a purchase. Now, as you saw, you can see that the agent will basically focus on utilizing a set of 200 different plugins and it will use a single plugin or even multiple without any sort of authentication requirements and it will utilize multiple plugins simultaneously. It's going to enable the system to automatically find the best plugin that is needed for that specific task and that's what the plugin agent is able to do. Now, let's take a look at what the web agent is able to do. Welcome to the Xlang web agent demo tutorial. Today, we will explore how this web navigation assistant utilizes the web to enhance your experience. Let's get started. The user is entering a request and the website will call the web agent to fulfill it. Now the web agent has been activated. A new page has been opened. The web agent extension is now being activated. We will wait for it to navigate the web page step by step. As you can see, the agent is interacting with the elements on this page and entering data into the input box, similar to a human navigating the web. The web agent has now completed its task and returns the information to the chat interface. Now the agent is summarizing the movie comments for the user. Now the user can input another query. The user wants the agent to post a tweet on their behalf. Now the agent will perform a similar task to the one it did during the first query. It will navigate to Twitter and post the requested thread for the user. Now that was actually quite amazing to see as to what you can do with OpenAgent in terms of the web browsing capability of it. Now I already showcased the data agent, but just to summarize it, it's equipped with tools for handling, manipulating, as well as visualizing data efficiently. Not only is it utilized for data, but it's also utilized for code generation, where you can execute code, work with various programming languages, and this is all within OpenAgent. Now, just going over the research paper, and I saw a pretty cool benchmark, which is assessing all different autonomous AI agent frameworks. You have AutoGPT, Baby AGI, as well as many of the other ones that are quite good in terms of web apps or web agents being deployed to accomplish various tasks. You even have Open Interpreter, and we can see based off of the interface, you have Open Agents, which has the ability to go online. It has human feedback, which can be used to go back and intervene with different sorts of prompts and different generations. You also have a UI, which is on the web, and it's controlled, and it can be deployed in the wild. This is where it also has above 200 different tools and plugins, and it has the ability to utilize the web to generate various things. And this is the capability of this open agent framework, which is even outperforming many of these other agents framework. Now, open agents platform consists of two main components. You have the user interface as well as the language agent. Now the user interface is serving as a bridge between the user as well as the agent. 
and it is something where it manages the communication the backend operations as well as the various other components that you can see over here then you have the language agent which is encompassing the language model as well as the different tool sets and the environments and it's going to drive the decision making process of the agents from the user interface now these interactions typically start with the user's needs so whenever a prompt is sent it passes through the user interface first and then it results into bridging back to the language agent to see which specific tasks need to be taken on by the various language models tools as well as environments and that's basically how this platform or this architecture basically functions by so how do you get started well there's three methods to actually utilize open agents firstly you can utilize the ho local host deployment method where you can build it from the source or you can utilize docker which is possibly the best recommended method for getting started with open agents you just need to simply follow through with these instructions and you can compose the docker build of open agents but say if you want to try it out on the local host well they actually have a demo where you can get started for free so if you are to click on this it will take you to this page where it will take a little bit longer to load up i tried to sign up with it but it was kind of taking a little too long to get started but you can see right now it's taking a little bit longer to get started at the current moment but if you are to go over to the demo page it will ask for you to register with your google account or your email address i recommend that you use a burner google account and you can get started by creating your account just like this you can see over here you can continue with your google account and you can simply get started by utilizing the web interface of open agents and this is how you can get started on the cloud and that concludes my video on open agents this is something that i truly recommend that you take a look at it might be old and it doesn't have a lot of updates if you can see from the repo but this is something that is functional and it's something that you can get started with right away to facilitate the creation and the deployment of various autonomous ai agents so if you're interested in this definitely take a look at the links that i used in today's video in the description below this is something that i'll keep you guys updated on if there is more updates i'll keep you posted on my twitter page which i truly recommend that you follow because this is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news Make sure you follow me on the Patreon page. Great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.